All right, so this is a unit that I picked up from eBay. It's, uh, the title says is 12 volt DC to 220 volt AC at very high frequency, and it can handle up to 30 watts. This diode bridge is the only modification I have added so that I can d get DC out of it. Um, it didn't come with wires. Actually, um, I did attach the wire when it came, but stuff fell off, so I had to attach a new one. And uh, I seem to have two MOSFETs or transistor of some sort, and two transformers with a relay and a capacitor. In any case, let's put this to the test. Alright, so the setup here is, the power supply here will supply power to this unit and the output in DC is going to be sent to here to, to be measured. 1.6 volts is creating about 70.8 volts. Does make a bit of noise there. Now I'm up to about 5.59 volts and uh, it's pumping out about 263 volts in DC and it does promise to take it up to 12 volts so let's see what happens oh shit oh shit yeah I forgot this I forgot this could only take up to 750 volt max. Hopefully there's a safety circuit in there. I don't want to blow this up. I'm supplying about 8 volt and it's pumping out about 400, 401 volts. I'm supplying about 10.2 volts and it's already pumping out 516 volts in DC. I think that's a bit higher than the specification. So uh, let's go ahead and apply 12 volts. So I'm supplying about 12.3 volt, which is uh, within roughly about 10% error of 20, 12, 12 volt, and it's pumping out about 620 volts, which is a bit higher than I expected. Let's see how it looks like in AC. All right, so now the setup is the power supply is supplying DC into the unit, and the probe is connected to the AC out output before the diodes. This way we can see how it actually looks like on the oscilloscope. Let's do this. Oh, I need, also I need to be very careful because it only takes up to 400 volts. If, we, if it exceeds 400 volts, I'm risking my uh, precious oscilloscope, so that's not gonna be pretty. Um, as you can see, it's currently at about 60 volts. And interestingly, the frequency is 48 kilohertz, which is very high. All right, I'm gonna ramp up the voltage a little. Alright now that's reaching about 168 volts. Um, current DC input is about 4.57 volts and the uh, frequency is still about... Whoa what happened there? I don't know what's happening here but something's not good. Frequency is normal but uh, so ha something's happening. Alright honestly I did not do anything but I just decided to work again. Um, so there we have it. We are pumping out about 172 volts, about 4.67 volt DC. And the frequency is still consistent at about at about 47 kilohertz, but that's interesting. Now I'm gonna ramp it a little more again. So it detects about 258 volts, but but apparently it goes out with scope, so it's quite unclear what voltage that is. But we are still at about 7 volts, so I'm curious what will happen to at 12 volt. I have plotted DC output voltage versus input voltage to see the relationship and surprisingly it fits a linear line almost perfectly. I was expecting to see a concave down curve since at low voltage MOSFET or transistor efficiency would be bad. However, as we observed from the oscilloscope, Frequency remained consistent, so I guess it does make sense in some ways. I sure wouldn't use this circuit with anything that requires 220 volt AC, but I think this will make a great high voltage capacitor charger.